Thank you, Shay. And continuing coverage now in an animal hoarding case in Thermal, where authorities say around 20 dogs were found dead in a home. We're now told at least 30 dogs have been rescued, with most of them being taken to the Coachella Valley Animal Campus in Thousand Palms to be treated and eventually made available for adoption. This is video of these deplorable conditions where these animals were found yesterday. Wow. News Channel 3's Luis Avila live in studio with more on this heartbreaking story and an update on how those dogs that were rescued are doing tonight. Luis. That's right, John. I visited the Coachella Valley Animal Campus earlier today, and shelter officials are happy to report that the dogs are doing much better. But with the shelter already overcrowded, their resources are being stretched thin, so they're asking for the community's help. So this, this little nugget here, there's three of them that came from the property that were underage. This little guy is just one of about 20 dogs that were rescued Thursday and are receiving care at the Coachella Valley Animal Campus. According to staff, the dogs were found in poor condition, but are now receiving proper food, water and vet checkups. Some of them were so weak um, just from malnutrition and lack of food and lack of water and plus all the stress of the transport and just us tearing apart the only home they've ever known was scary for them you know so seeing them now in a better state is definitely making us more hopeful for full recovery hope that was made possible with a tip from the sister of the thermal property owner where the dogs were found according to officials she asked for a welfare check on the dogs after learning her brother was in the hospital animal control officials say the east valley which includes thermal is a large area to cover and makes it tricky to find animals in need it is a rural area uh, in many regards, a lot of farmland out there. Uh, some properties are off the beaten path. In some cases, that's how what happened yesterday can happen is there's not really a lot of eyes on the property. And, and sadly, uh, this property was overrun with uh, far too many dogs. Authorities say the owner remains in the hospital in critical condition and animal cruelty charges are unlikely. There was a person, a human being that needed help. Sadly, yes, the, these animals might be in deplorable conditions, but they, these animals might be the only friends th this person has. And so we want to be cognizant to help our humans. But as for the shelter, which already houses 200 dogs, they're hoping the community can step up and help make a needed difference. And we have a lot of programs. So I tell people, keep it simple. Just come talk to us, right? Whether it's foster or adopt, or even if they just want to take a puppy for the weekend for a field trip, anything they can do to take a dog out of here, we're going to make it happen because we really just need to make the space so we can provide good care. And the best home is a home, not a cage. And the Animal Campus has recently announced that all dog adoptions are free until the end of the month to help with overcrowding. For more information and ways you can help, visit our website, KESQ.com. Live in studio, Luis Avila, News Channel 3.